that soap, Fran. Get that soap. Wash those hands. You got it. You got it. There we go. You got it? Yep. You got it all? All clean. You're good to go. We're done. Okay, so I've changed my mind. Yep. I think I'm just going to send you over to do weather. I got to get ready for the news. And I'm going to eat dessert. Sir. He's a right. busy man. I'm busy. He's a busy, Thank busy you. man. And save Chef some is dessert. a busy man in the kitchen. Should we save him some, you think? Yeah, for sure. Okay. We'll I save brought him plenty. Some. Yeah. He brought plenty. I there you go. All right, Chef, tell me the story behind this dessert. My wife and I had this on our honeymoon several years ago. We were in the Caymans. It's an Ooh. English dessert. Uh, the Cayman Islands uh, used to be part of the Commonwealth, the British Commonwealth. Uh, so this is a, a popular dessert in England and Ireland. And we've got some uh, sugar. We've got eggs. We've got dates. It's a date cake. It's a date cake. Now remind me what the actual name of this is again. Sticky toffee pudding. Sticky toffee pudding. Yep. So I'm going to make a toffee sauce to go with our date cake. Okay. And so did you eat it and loved it, and you're like, I have to make this back home? Well, it was one of those things where we spoke to several people before we had dinner that night, and I think every single one said, well, you have to get the sticky toffee pudding. You have to really? get the sticky toffee pudding. And we're like, well, I guess we're having the sticky toffee pudding tonight. <laughs> How can you not now? It was a restaurant called Calypso Grill, and it was on the edge of the island, and it was just one of those kind of restaurants where the, the menu was on a... Uh, a, a chalkboard and you, you eat what was Aww, caught that day. Oh, cool. So we had this great dessert and it's been on our menu ever since and it's by oh, far wow. and away our top seller. Now, do you do your own twist on it? Is I it don't. I, I honor the classic and I, oh, I tried to I make it. That. I tried to make it as close to the original right. as, as I could. Okay. And it's always a high compliment at the restaurant when we have somebody from England Compliment Ooh, the rest. Come in and say this is so coffee. good. Yeah. I bet that is quite the compliment. Mm -hmm. And then the magic of the TV. magic of television. Voila. Got a couple of cakes here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Now, do you is this ice cream or is that like a whipped, whipped cream. cream? Yep, That's just a whipped cream. cream. Ooh, this looks good. And I've got my toffee sauce, which is just butter, oh, brown sugar, and cream. We've got a drizzle. That's our toffee. Yes, we do, folks. Yes, we do. Look at that. Trying to be as clean, is this pretty rich? clean as possible. Oh my gosh, it's over the top. <laughs> as I bump the camera. So this is definitely a shareable option, perhaps. For sure. And it's also, okay, the servers me, at the restaurant always tell people that it's basically a requirement of dining at the restaurant is having Ooh. this dessert. And that toffee sauce is this real hot. This looks delicious. Okay, do you, I mean, I know you know what it tastes like, but I'm like, do you want a fork too? I feel like we should give Dave the cameraman behind you. A taste. Look how delicious that looks. It's so ooey and so gooey. Now I'm going to have to get water to wash up. What do you recommend? Milk? Or port? Ooh. Or uh, coffee? Hot. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> In the best way. Oh, that's so good. It's good, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, we have people that come in just for the dessert. But you know what? The combo, that drizzle <clears throat> and the whipped cream on top of it. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. I, I, I want to go back for more, but I don't because then that would be double dipping. And I don't want to double dip. Feel free. <laughs> don't tell anybody. All right, let's talk about what else is on your menu. Tell me what else in terms of desserts. What else do you guys have to feature? Uh, we do a chocolate mousse, uh, which I actually made last week here at the restaurant. But honestly, we sell so many of these that, like, the other desserts really? kind of just, like, kind of, <laughs> yeah. They're Sorry. just kind of there. Yeah. Sorry, desserts. And then full menu other ways, though, too, because you, Chef Ryan has been on our show a few times, and you guys have a huge, a nice range, I guess you could say. We do. We cover options. a lot of ground. Courses. With a with a very focused menu. Yeah. You know, we've got a, a pork chop, we've got several fish options. We usually have a whole fish, uh, which people really in, enjoy. My husband is all about the whole fish. But it's I know some people don't it. like that because it's like staring at you. Well we'll we'll take the head off if you want. <laughs> the server's always fillet it up. Such you know? a gym, right? Yeah. We'll take the head off. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. Okay, where can we find you? Hours, location, all that good stuff. Monday through Saturday up at Keystone at the Crossing, eighty sixth mm -hmm. Street. Uh, we're directly east of the fashion mall. Um, and we're uh, we're, uh, we're open. And there you go. Yeah. And we're open. And of course, you made gnocchi for us during the first segment. We appreciate that because we're talking about Great Pasta Push. It's all a part of Wish TV. We're partnering with Second Helpings for the second annual Great Pasta Push. I know you know how important this is, right? To feed the hungry. I mean, because this is an existing problem that does not go away. It's uh, a shame that in our country, hunger exists, especially yeah. among children. I and uh, pasta is a great way. I mean, it, it fills you Spilling. up and it goes a long ways. Right, yeah. exactly.